When was the last time you had to make a choice so hard that it would ruin your life? Hopefully, you've never been in that position. Prometheus ignited the flame that sparked humanity's progress, but also led the path to his own torment. And this is how it happened. At the beginning of time, the Earth was ruled by the Titans, powerful beings who were the children of the first gods. One of these Titans was Prometheus. Prometheus had the gift of foresight, meaning he could see into the future. Prometheus foresaw that the Olympian gods would eventually defeat the Titans in a huge battle known as the Titanomachy. This was an epic war for the supreme power over the cosmos. Prometheus chose not to oppose Zeus during this great conflict. By siding with the Olympians, he avoided the fate that befell many of his kin, who were imprisoned in the depths of Tartarus, the dark and dismal abyss far beneath the earth. When the war ended, Zeus commanded Prometheus and his brother Epimethus to create and populate the earth with a variety of animals, filling the world with life in all its forms. The Titans had an abundance of raw materials to work with, while Epimethus eagerly set about shaping all sorts of creatures Prometheus took on the role of overseeing the entire process, ensuring everything was crafted perfectly. Each animal was given a special ability. Birds received the gift of flight. Elephants were given great strength. And different talents were evenly divided among all creatures. Man was saved for last. The brothers wanted to create something extraordinary, something that would stand out above all other life forms. However, after shaping man from clay, they realized that all the special talents had already been given to other animals. This left humans vulnerable and seemingly ordinary compared to the other creatures. Think about it. When we are born, we are nothing but a sack of meat and bones, completely helpless until an age at which most animals are completely self-sufficient. Prometheus presented his work to the goddess Athena, who was amazed by what he had created. She decided to bless humanity with the divine breath of life, instilling them with intelligence and spirit. This is how humans came to be. However, Prometheus still wasn't satisfied. He wanted humans to stand out above all the rest of the animals. But at this point, there were just smarter monkeys, living in caves, dodging predators, and surviving on fallen fruit, while living in complete fear of the darkness that surrounded them. Athena advised Prometheus to give fire to humans, a gift that would transform their existence. At sunset, Prometheus went to Helios' chariot, which was waiting for the new dawn. He lit a torch with Helios' fire and brought it to humanity. With the gift of fire, humans began to develop quickly. They created weapons and tools, cooked their food, and started to dominate nature. Prometheus was finally fulfilled, watching his creation flourish. Zeus decided that humans were advancing a little too quick for his liking, so he decreed that they should honor the gods by offering sacrifices. However, Prometheus intervened on behalf of humanity, as he wanted to prevent his creation from being exploited. Prometheus tried to trick Zeus for the benefit of humans. He asked for a bull to be sacrificed for the gods, and divided the sacrifice into two piles. One pile was smaller but contained the best meats covered by the animal's skin. The other pile was larger, but filled with bones and all the guts, wrapped in fat to make it look appealing. Prometheus knew that Zeus's greed would lead him to choose the bigger pile, leaving the best part for humans. And he was right. When Zeus realized he had been tricked, he was furious and decided to take fire away from humanity. Without fire, humans began to struggle. They were once again tormented by darkness and cold and couldn't cook their food slowly decaying into their once modest origins. At this, Prometheus was outraged, so he decided to steal the sacred fire and give it back to humans. During the night, he went to Olympus and returned with the flame stolen from Hephaestus' forges. But what happens when Zeus discovers this act of rebellion? It wasn't pretty. With the return of fire, humans began to thrive again, creating more sophisticated tools and technologies building shelters, and advancing their societies. But the glowing flames at night caught Zeus' attention. 
he immediately realized that humans were in possession of fire again, and there could only be one culprit. Zeus decided that Prometheus could not go unpunished for his defiance. Imagine being given a life sentence, but on top of that, having a security guard or another inmate cut your belly open with a knife every day, but never actually kill you. Zeus decided that for Prometheus' defiance, he would be chained to a rock and an eagle would come every day and eat his liver. Since Prometheus was an immortal titan, his liver would regenerate every day, only to be eaten again by the bird the next day. This cycle of endless torture was Zeus's way of making an example out of Prometheus, showing what happens to those who defy the will of the gods. Prometheus endured this agonizing punishment for countless years, bound to a rock in the Caucasus Mountains, suffering a living hell every day. But even though he was completely miserable, Prometheus remained with his health hell high, knowing that his sacrifice had allowed humanity to prosper. Eventually, Zeus did come to Earth and offered him freedom, if he promised to hide the knowledge of fire from humans. As humanity's benefactor, Prometheus rejected Zeus's offer and chose to sacrifice himself for the sake of his creation. Due to his sacrifice, humanity continued to grow and evolve, developing civilizations, arts and sciences, all thanks to the fire and the knowledge that Prometheus had gifted them. Prometheus was, however, eventually freed from his torment. The hero Heracles, commonly known for his Roman counterpart as Hercules, came upon Prometheus during one of his adventures. Heracles took pity on him, so he slew the eagle and broke the chains that bound Prometheus. In the end, Prometheus's legacy lived on through the advancements of human civilization. The fire that he had stolen from the gods became a symbol of knowledge, of enlightenment and progress. His defiance against Zeus, his willingness to suffer for humanity, and his ultimate liberation all contributed to his legacy. This story is one of my favorites. It touches on a lot of human nature that we see reflected in how the events play out. We have rebellion, suffering, redemption, and also a character that stick to his values despite that resulting in his own suffering. Would you be so committed to your own creation? Enough to see it thrive despite that meaning your doom? Do let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me for today's tale. If you had fun and watched until the end, I'm gonna assume that you like what you saw. So do me a big favor, click like, subscribe, leave a comment, or share the video with someone else. It's a small button for you, and a gigantic leap for my channel. Until the next tale, farewell, and may the gods smile upon you.